Now let's look at creating test reports in the Mako Assist app. With your site and assembly information already entered, after you've completed the test, see how the saved readings on your Mako automatically appear on the test screen. Now all that needs to be done is answering the yes-no toggle questions, noting the final results of the test as a pass or a fail, and entering any comments you need related to this test. Comments can be easily input using the keyboard or the dictation feature with your phone. Once you've reviewed the test screen data, tap Create Report, and the app will ask you to confirm you're ready to spend a ticket for this report. With that done, you can see your completed test report. The date and timestamp are at the top, followed by the site and assembly information that you input. The Mako's serial number and last calibration date automatically populate from the test kit. The test results note which test procedure was followed and what the saved values were for the appropriate test readings. Your comments show up in the lower left corner and your tester account info is clearly laid out in the lower right corner. Tap Share Report, and you'll have numerous options. We recommend that you save the report to your phone. After that, tap Share Report once more. And from here, you can save the report to a cloud storage, or send it via email or text. While you're on this screen, you can send, save, and share the report as many times as you'd like. For example, you could send it via email to the Water Authority, or back to the office for bookkeeping, to yourself for future use, to the customer along with an invoice. You could even attach a photograph of the assembly you tested. When you're done with this test report, simply tap the X in the upper left corner. You'll be asked if you wish to reset all forms. If you're moving on to an entirely new location, tap Reset. If you'll be testing another assembly at the same site, tap No. Each of the tabs has its own reset button at the bottom of the page. So if you are at the same site and simply need to reset the assembly under test, no problem. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series, and for more information you can always visit arbiterbackflow.com.